For more, let's speak to Dr. Sharon George, a course director for MSc Environmental Sustainability and Green Technology at Keele University. She joins us now from the UK. Hi there. Okay, now, to Hi. solve this problem, is it more a matter of eliminating plastic or disposing of, i.e. no more littering, and then recycling it properly? Yeah, it's a complicated picture because this isn't this isn't just about us just recycling. This is about our addiction to plastic. We've become massively addicted. And as the report that you just said shows, that we've we've been ignoring this problem for too long. Right now we've got about three hundred million tons of plastic every year ending up in our oceans, and a half of that is single use plastic. And it's too easy, it's too convenient, it's too cheap for us to use a single use plastic and just discard it. And it hangs around for hundreds of years in the environment and this is becoming a problem now where the Ellen MacArthur Foundation predict that by 2050 there'll be more plastic in the ocean than there are fish and that is a very sobering thought. Okay so how do we wean people off this single-use plastic addiction? Yeah, and I think, you know, businesses have been very nervous to move people away from this. We, we associate this plastic with hygiene, with, you know, good quality products. But actually, a lot of products that we buy don't need that plastic. So fruit and vegetables, for instance, you know, they come with a plastic wrap. We don't need that. We could, we could take our own reusable containers and reusable bags. And same with water. We can go to filling stations with reusable um, containers. But this is a, this is a shift in behaviour. So this means that the general public need to meet companies halfway and we need to change our behaviour and what we expect businesses to be delivering to give um, companies the confidence to change what they supply to us. But we need a, a massive shift in this relationship, particularly with this single-use plastic. This is, this is okay. becoming a, a massive problem. And we're, yeah. so, I mean, do you like then that the EU, for example, is considering actual legislation, laws that ban it? Or is that bad for industry? And is perhaps the consumer public not ready for that yet? No, I think right now the, the public are more aware than ever before about this plastic problem. You know, this is, this is a problem, this, this um, plastic in our oceans. We're finding studies where we're showing that this stuff is getting into our food chain now. This isn't a problem for the future. This is becoming a problem for us now uh, with unknown health benefit, uh, with unknown health risks associated with that. So this is becoming super urgent. And the public are more aware now than they were many years ago. So they're welcoming this change and they're looking for alternatives. But right now, you go into the supermarkets and shops and there is so much plastic, it's so difficult to avoid. So legislation is going to help accelerate this change, I think. So it's it, certainly in Europe and, and especially in the UK, um, the, the, these changes have, have been welcomed, especially by the general okay. public. Okay, Dr. Sharon George, thank you so much for joining us there from Kiel.